accurate forecast from the First Coast News Weather Team, certified by Weather Rate, sponsored by AC Designs. Well, let's start with a look around the First Coast. It is a hot Friday evening out there. Some clouds out in the sky, but most of us are staying dry. Isolated showers popping up every once in a while, but with the dry weather, most of us are hot and we have temperatures sitting in the 80s along the coast, 90s for those of you inland, but everyone mainly feeling like the 90s. And at Mayport, it feels like 96 degrees right now. Same for Waycross, that's your heat index. There's a bit of a breeze out there at times, trying to make it feel a little bit more comfortable out there this evening. Double digits for almost everyone. Waycross, you're close at nine miles an hour. For this evening, for your Friday evening plans, whether you're going to the Jumbo Shrimp or anything else, temperatures drop out of the 80s and then eventually down into the 70s, closer to nine o'clock. But remember, for the next few hours, it will still feel like the 90s with the humidity out there. Overnight lows drop down into the lower 70s. Then we head into our Saturday and perhaps you're heading out to the beach. At the beach, temperatures will be in the lower 90s with a moderate rip current risk, so be aware if you're out swimming. The UV index tomorrow is 11, which means that it's extreme and you could get a sunburn in perhaps less than 10 minutes. So please don't forget your sun protection tomorrow, no matter what you're doing. Highs inland warming up into the middle 90s. And on top of that, with the humidity, it will be feeling like the triple digits out there. Lots of events going on tomorrow. Perhaps you're going to the Melanin Market Juneteenth celebration and temperatures staying in the 90s for most of that time until about seven o'clock dropping down into the 80s, but still feeling like the middle 90s at that time. Then we move into our Father's Day and dads, if you're going golfing, Earlier the better because temperatures quickly warm up. We will see temperatures rise towards 92 degrees, either side of 92 for your high, but it will feel like 100 degrees. What about rain chances on Father's Day? I think we're staying dry along the coast. We could see activity pop up inland along that sea breeze merger. Speaking of rain, what's going on in the tropics? Well, the system that brought all of that flooding to South Florida, that's moving out of here. 10% chance of development. Our attention turns to the Bay of Campeche in the Gulf of Mexico, and it's looking a little bit more likely that we could get a tropical depression to form by the early to middle part of next week, but it is not a threat to the first coast. For us next week, we will see an onshore breeze out of the east, bringing some coastal showers and temperatures down into the upper 80s.